Before we begin building the Todo application, we need to set up and configure a Firebase project to integrate the Firestore database into our application. Firestore is a powerful NoSQL database that allows you um, to store unstructured data, making it highly flexible for front-end developers. The best part, you don't need to write any backend code or APIs to use it. To use Firebase database, you first need to set up a project under the console. And to do that, you just need to go to firebase.google.com. Then from there, you click on go to console and in which we are going to start configuring the Firebase uh, project within Firebase console. And then we're going to get the connection string and all those um, configuration and parameters uh, that we will use in our front-end application uh, to communicate with the Firebase Firestore uh, database. So we'll just head to console. Then from there, on the first screen, you just click on create new project. You can name your project whatever you want. So we're going to name it Angular to do app. So then you're going to click on continue. After that, you can enable and disable these options. I will just disable them for, to quickly finish the configuration. And this will take a couple of seconds to prepare the project for you. So we'll get back when it's done. Now it's done. So we will just click on continue to go to the project that we have started. And after that, you can start configuring your web application to connect to this Firebase project. So to do that, you just click on this icon, which says web. Then you start by naming the application in which you're going to, or the application that you're going to connect to from your front end. So I would call it to do app. Then I will say register app. After that, it will give us connection uh, and the information about the connection and how to connect to it using uh, different platforms. So if we were to use NPM, we are just going to take this and put it in our JavaScript application or Node.js application or even Angular application. Then you are just going to continue to console. That's it. So now we've enabled the uh, or created a web app under our Angular to do uh, Firebase app. And that web app will be used to uh, communicate uh, from the front end application, whether if it's Angular, Node.js or React. So we are going to use that web app as a proxy to communicate with uh, Firebase, let's say different services like real-time database or Firebase authentication. And the first thing we need to do in order to use Firestore, you just go to Firestore database, then create or click on create a database. Then you have to name your database or to choose the location. So default will be the database ID will be the default. So you cannot do that, but you can choose the location. I'll just stick to the default one. Then here you can decide whether if you're going to start with production mode or test mode. So we will start with test mode so that it allow uh, all kind of operations like the right read. And then later on, when we, see, uh, when we want to publish our application, you can just switch this to uh, production mode. So we'll create the database. So it's going to take a couple of seconds to provision the Cloud Firestore database for us. Then once done, you will see your Firebase or Firestore database. So it's called Cloud Firestore. And then here you are going to have your records and we're going to start building the front end to uh, do the CRUD operation for uh, a list or for a collection or for whatever. So you can start collection manually or you can start it through your, uh, your application or your front end application. So that's it for the configuration. We'll come back when we need to uh, enable some APIs and do some other configuration whenever we need it. So we'll come back to this uh, interface or to this uh, platform to do all those kind of configurations. Now that our Firebase uh, project is set up and the Firebase or Firestore database is ready to go, we are going to, be to begin building our front-end application using Angular. In this uh, tutorial, we're going to use Angular standalone. So all components will be standalone and it will be a little slightly different from a module-based um, application. So to start, we're going to say NGNU and we name our application uh, Angular Fire 
store to do app then wait for it to configure so we'll select css for this and we can say no for that it will take some time to, to build the application or create the application for us so that app is done so the uh, the application took roughly one minute to finish uh, setting up everything so we're just going to open that project and navigate to uh, the main let's say folder so we are just going to say code per cd to that angular fire store to do app and then we're going to say code replace so we're going to open it in our so our application is ready to be configured and the first thing we need to do is to start by adding the angular material and bootstrap and to do that for angular material you can just say add you can always navigate to angular material to see how it's added angular yeah, how we can install it actually angular material and then you go to the main page after that you go to get started and it will give you this command line that you have to run into under your project and it will add firebase or a material for you so you can decide to say yes for this You can select the default theme and you can say yes to this as well after that you can include the animation and let it install so that's it done now we're going to install bootstrap so npm install bootstrap so this will install bootstrap 5 for us and then once it's done we need to go configure the bootstrap into our angular json file and to do that it's very simple you just need to refer to the style and the JavaScript files of Bootstrap, and that's actually under the like the node module. So you can just search for Bootstrap here. It's actually here. So you, know, you just need to refer to dist CSS Bootstrap min dot CSS and this JS file as well, which is the minimized version of the minimal version of the. Um, JavaScript file. So to do that, you just need to go here and then say node modules slash slash bootstrap. Then dist CSS. After that, you can refer to the CSS file, which is bootstrap main dot CSS. just need to make sure that the folder is correct or the location of the folder is correct I think it's it is so we're just going to use this for the JavaScript file as well but this time is going to be JS bootstrap main.js that's it so now our application is configured to use angular material and bootstrap and we're going to start building the application and one last thing is to install the angular fire and angular fire actually will take care of configuring or con connecting the uh, angular project to our uh, front end or to our firebase uh, project and to do that you just need to if you would like to know more about that so you can just say angular angular fire npm and then within that you will see how to install it and it's actually odd ng odd fire then fire will this package will ask you to choose the project under um, firebase or under your account that is connected to firebase so then you say yes if you are connected to your uh, google account or gmail account here and that gmail account is the one that manages the uh, firebase project you will be able to connect to it uh, through the command line if you are not logged in it will send you a link and that link will allow you to uh, log in into your gmail account and uh, select the project that you'd like to have or to use so in our case here we're going to use the firestore not the authentication no google analytics so we we'll just need the firestore and then you can hit enter then we're going to select the account that is logged in so i use that gmail account i'll hit enter then you have to select the um 
project or the Firebase project, I have Angular uh, to do app, it's already configured. And then you can select to create a new uh, app or use an existing app. And that's what we have created in the previous uh, section. So I'll use that to do app. That's it. So now our configuration is done. We can make sure that it's the case by just navigating to the uh, main uh, file or the uh, app config and you will see that you have or the command line or that library actually added some configuration which is provide fire uh, firebase app and provide firestore so these are the two things that were added to help the application to communicate with the backend or the firestore backend so that's it for the configuration of our uh, application now we are going to start building the application by adding the different components and adding different services that we need uh, to uh, start uh, like working